In this film, we will demonstrate for you the eBeta test device. We will demonstrate the startup and how to check if the device is working, including the flow rate check, gas return check, the check of the cutoff valve, the annual check of the flashback arresters, and the possibilities for deploying the PVGD in the goods received check. In contrast to many other products in oxyacetylene welding technology, the product quality of safety devices cannot be tested directly by the user. Similar to the case of an airbag, eBeta assumes full responsibility that the described capabilities of the eBeta safety devices are also fulfilled. The start of the test device is very simple. The test device is placed on a level horizontal base. The hand valve on the front display is turned to the closed position. The testing medium is now connected. Only oil-free pressurized air or nitrogen may be used. The inlet pressure must be between 4 and 7 bars. Finally, distilled water is poured into the funnel until the water level reaches the lower edge of the green mark. If the water level is too high, the water can be let out with the bleed screw in order to reach the desired level. The device is now ready. The PVGD test device comes with extensive accessories. Included are different adapters, among others for checking ENISO couplings, EBETA couplings, as well as different gaskets for connection with the most varied safety devices. This makes it possible to check all commercially available safety devices simply, safely, and economically. The gasket-equipped shackle, without the device engaged, is pushed together and fastened with a release handle. Both gaskets are now fitted together with the set wheel. The hand valve on the front display must now be turned to the through flow position. The gas flow is adjusted with the choke valve on top of the device so that the flow meter float is even with the lower edge at the level 9 on the scale. By turning the hand valve to the closed position, this adjustment is completed. Now the shackle is loosened with the set wheel until there is an opening of 1 to 2 millimeters between the gaskets. To check whether the device is ready to run, the hand valve is turned to the gas return and the gap between the two gaskets narrows until the water level climbs or bubbles form. But be careful. If the rising bubbles cause water loss, the corresponding amount must be replaced. By turning the hand valve to the closed position, the function check can be completed. During the flow rate check, it should be noted that the hand valve should stay in the closed position. The device under test is now connected so that its flow direction corresponds to that of the test devices. Devices under test of up to 200 millimeters in length and 50 millimeters diameter can be directly connected. The flow measurement can now proceed and the hand valve is turned to the through flow position. With increasing usage, the fine porous flame arresters of the safety device begin to close and considerably reduce the flow through. Too little gas flow rate can lead to flashbacks. The boundary value for too little flow through depends on the type of the device under test and can be found in the instruction manual. The data refers to the lower edge of the float. We are concerned here with standard values which vary according to type. The device under test should show a flow that is larger or the same as this boundary value. In order to bleed the device, the hand valve is turned to the closed position. Without reclamping the device under test, the non-return valve of the safety device can now be checked by turning the hand valve to the gas return position. If the float does not climb over the green marker within 30 seconds, the non-return valve of the safety device is in working order.
In addition, safety devices with pressure-sensitive gas cutoff can be checked in that the device under test is clamped to the opposite direction to the flow arrow. By turning the hand valve to gas flow through, the pressure sensitive flashback arrestor is activated. If the flashback arrestor does not activate, the safety device must be replaced. Safety devices must be checked annually for gas return. With this check, the operator can make sure that his safety device still works in case of a real emergency. This can be done economically on site with the PVGD test device. In addition, without reclamping the device under test, a flow measurement test can be easily conducted. Models with pressure sensitive flashback arresters like the DS1000 or DS2000 can be checked to see if the flashback arrestor activates with an improper rise in pressure. Safety devices which have passed the check are marked with a test sticker and the serial number of the safety device is noted. There is an error in the non-return valve if the float climbs over the lower edge of the green mark within 30 seconds. With faulty safety devices, very strong gas return can cause water loss which must be compensated. Safety devices like that must be replaced because they can no longer prevent creeping or sudden gas return. You are responsible for determining that the appropriate tools are available for working with gases. With misleading and missing data, the manufacturers and distributors of cheap and dangerous no-name products evade responsibility for their obligations and rights of recourse. The PVGD test device is not only suited for the annual check, it can also be deployed in the goods received check. It is also possible with the PVGD to recognize faulty, cheap safety devices or defective copies before they are deployed and lead to a dangerous situation in the workplace. All eBeta safety devices are subjected to a 100% goods issue control. In addition to the general permanent quality controls, this goods issue test includes the gas return test and also the flashback test which can only be conducted on a special test stand. If you have already deployed an eBeta safety device, you may do without a check on goods received in good conscience. At your request, eBeta will check dubious safety samples and will issue a test report at no charge. With eBeta gas safety technology, you can protect life and limb and your investment without compromises. eBeta. Certified safety worldwide.